Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to ECT Vision. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been tuning in for the last couple videos that I have. I really do appreciate it. I have not been on here due to, you know, working and a couple other things, but I am going to make a comeback. I am actually working on something very, very special for this channel, and it's just a lot to get together. So please excuse me in my absence. All right. But the videos are not going to stop. OK, I want to still drop this fire, drop this heat. So like, share, subscribe. Make sure you throw your comments in the bottom for anything you got to say about this video. We're going to be dropping another video later on today. So be looking out for that. This video is going to be pretty simple, though. I'm going to talk about how I how I became, I guess, the member of the conservative family, I guess if that's what you want to call it, um, and why I started supporting Trump, all right, so let's start at the beginning, okay, first and foremost, I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, all right, when I was 23, 24, okay, I was really, really, really brainwashed by posts in social media and the mainstream media on TV. I was really brainwashed, right? Not to mention other people that was around me, but most of it came from the media and social media. Well, we just call it media. But anyway, um, I was very pro-black at the time. I didn't like white people. I'm gonna keep this, this short and simple. I'm not even gonna get into any details. It ain't really nothing special, but I really didn't like white people. I didn't, I didn't believe that uh, people should have children with people outside of their race. I didn't believe that people should date other people outside of their race. Um, I fell into the trap of calling people who didn't think, who didn't think like me coons and Uncle Tom and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I pretty much came a long way, right? And one day, I remember this specifically. This is when I decided, like, yo, y'all tripping, right? Short and simple. It ain't nothing special, right? Um, This was when Black Panther came out. The movie Black Panther with Chadwick Bowman, who just passed away not too long ago, R.I.P. Um, I didn't like the movie. I, I didn't think the movie, you know was what it what people hyped it up to be um i didn't find it I, I i thought the character uh killmonger was a lot better than the main character and it just kind of killed the movie for me man he wasn't in the movie enough killmonger wasn't in the movie enough in my opinion um they didn't give him a lot of screen time so i thought it was pretty whack and i expressed that and people lost their mind I mean, I wasn't really black, you know, people, you know, people were saying, oh, you're not really pro-black then if you don't like this movie, you know what I'm saying? So it was ridiculous. Like I got a lot of flack for it, right? Um, once that happened, then other things started happening, you know, um, there were some things that I was looking into that the pro-black people were saying, you know, where they were trying to use, this is some racist stuff right here, right? They try to say that white people are racist but this is the type of stuff that they do these pro-black dudes and girls they use science to try to diminish white people as a race you know what i'm saying so they would say stuff like um the melanin in our skin makes us more powerful than white people it makes us more patient and all this other stuff it just makes us peaceful you know what i'm saying and they try to say that the white people are white their skin is that way and their eyes are blue or green that way because it's a recessive gene you know what i'm saying um and they try to use this to make claims that you know white people are less than and i don't i didn't believe that you know what i'm saying like i you know i could have fell down that road but i don't think that i really actually believe that because my whole talking point 
when I was pro-black was I used to always go back to slavery, go back to Jim Crow and, you know, the hangings, the Ku Klux Klan and all that stuff. But then you had other talking points that, you know, basically went into science. You know, black people came from this people over here, which makes us more uh, which makes us more powerful. And we lost our way. We used to be kings in Egypt and all this other crap. Right. I couldn't bring myself to believe none of this because I went on the Internet, of course, and I'm looking for this information and I can't find anything that was substantial. Right. So I'm just like, I don't think I'm going to I think I want to look into it a little bit more, but I don't think I'm going to take it at, you know, I'm just going to take it at face value. That's just the way I was thinking. Right. The last straw was when I was talking to uh, a Native American guy, I forget his name. And I think his name was like something red cloud on Facebook and there was like and uh, y'all know how Facebook is it's so it's a very big community man and you could pretty much make a group and you could just invite those people who are like minded or people who are just like you in this group right there was a Native American group that I was following and they put out information that debunked uh, a guy I'm not going to say his name but there was a guy who was black who was claiming that black people in this country are the real Native Americans. I'm not going to say his name, but this guy, you know, has a YouTube page and all that. And um, it was ridiculous. Right. And, and I'm just like, I don't think I necessarily believe that. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't one of those people that was preaching that. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I don't remember. Like, that was so long ago. Right. But anyway, um, long story short. This guy's preaching that and, you know, this Native American group was on top of it. They're like, no, none of this, nothing this guy is saying is true. Nothing that this guy is saying is, is, is real. Where's the evidence for it? You know, they're talking about, you know, uh, statues coming from Africa and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, wow, you know, uh, and these guys are just breaking it down. They gave me some information and then pretty much that's when I was like, I don't think I want to follow you guys anymore. You pro black people are fucking ridiculous. You're idiots. I mean, there were even talks about black people coming from aliens and all this other stupid, spooky stuff, man. It was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, that's when I just fell off and I'm just like, I don't want to associate myself with anything pro-black anymore. It's it's not believable, right? Now, the whole the whole thing of me supporting Trump didn't come till later. And actually much more recent, as recent as last year. I want to say last year and maybe December or so, right? So what happened with that was um, I was talking to a friend of mine and you know what I'm saying? We were talking and I had asked her something about the, you know, the LGBTQ community. I was curious on why they argue with scientists about the whole gender thing, the gender spectrum and all this other stuff. While we have people who are actual transgenders who argue against it. And I was asking, you know, why, what's the point of doing this if this is not even real? And she basically said it's because they want to, you know, force their culture on other people. And I'm just like, ah, well, she didn't say they forced their culture on other people. She said it's a culture and they want to they want everybody to basically, you know, you know, get with it, get with the program. Like this is our culture. We want you to get with the program. We made up these terms. We made up the reason behind these terms and we're going to just give it to the world. You either going to follow it or we're just going to cancel your shows. We're going to get you fired from your job or whatever have you. Right. So once she said that, I was I, I really thought about that. Like I, I really I went in the shower, I, I, you know, sat down on the bed and I'm just like, huh. That's very interesting um, because now that I'm thinking about it. This is what the pro-black movement was doing. This is what they were doing when, when I was over here. They were trying to put their culture on everybody and they were they were they wanted people to get with the program. And if you wasn't with the program, you received a lot of backlash. You were called a coon and this and that and the third. And 
I was like, wow, you know, it, it really just changed my mind on a lot of things. And another thing is at the time, I was really into Jordan Peterson, still a brilliant man, right? Jordan Peterson had that little debate with um, with uh, that that anchor or that news reporter uh, a little minute back. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. He just completely cuts up on her, right? And while I was watching that, I just looked at, you know, the whole thing objectively. Like, I didn't like the way she was arguing. She was just putting words in his mouth. That's exactly what she was doing. And a lot of people give him slack because he says, well, depends on what you mean. Or he says, um, no, I didn't say that. And if you go back to these tapes where he says that, he's pretty spot on. He didn't say what these people are, are insinuating when they're doing their interviews with him. So... That really changed my whole mindset on the way I thought about um, politics. It changed my mindset on what I thought about President Trump because I really didn't care if President Trump was um, in office or not. But I'm glad I did start looking into it because I was seeing people bash him. And I'm just like, what are you what are you people bashing him for? What is what is it? that you don't like about them. You know what I'm saying? And like, I laughed at the jokes and stuff like that. But now it's just like, you guys were using lies the whole time. You were using these lies against him and you were spreading it to other people. And this shit isn't even true. And now fast forward to today, where we have, there was gunshots, fi gunshots fired at a Trump rally. Um, there's a guy on Facebook who, you know, reports on, uh, riots and stuff like that where people are actually there and he does it in real time so if there's a reporter at a riot he posts it on his page and you know he does it in real time and it's like Black Lives Matter and Antifa are attacking Trump supporters now and all because of these lies of course we all know that you know not too long ago that Trump supporter in Portland down, downtown Portland got shot and killed you know what I'm saying and he confirmed that he was 100% Antifa I mean, he has a Black Lives Matter tattoo all over his neck. So it's it done got out of hand for these past couple years. And my whole point in, in making this video is to say, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just because you're black doesn't mean you have to fall for the BS. You know, if you really want the truth, you should start looking into it instead of sitting around watching CNN and NBC. Hell, don't even take what Fox say. Uh, uh, take that as, as, as a grain of salt. Don't listen to what they say either. Go look up everything that they're talking about and you'll see the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's not something I'm not here to, to try to put either side against each other, but let's keep it real. Let's all just keep it real for once and just look into the things we talk about. I mean, everybody was saying that just like at the debates, right? At the debates, they try to make Donald Trump uh, uh, condemn racism. Like how many times is he gonna condemn racism? You know what I'm saying? He done did this before. Like back when I wasn't even a Trump supporter, he did this. So, you know what I'm saying? While I was doing what I was doing and saying the things that I was saying whole time, He's on camera condemning racists. And I have a video on my Facebook page that, that has a five minute clip posted by Charlie Kirk. Shout out to Charlie Kirk. Um, he has a video on his Facebook page of Donald Trump condemning racism for five minutes. And I'm not talking about one clip. There's clips like a compilation, five minute compilation of Donald Trump condemning racists and racism. I mean, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't do this. I mean, the man had the H, the head of the HBCUs, the, the historically black colleges and universities. He had these people in his office talking about what they can do to, to better improve the black colleges. And what the crazy part about it is a lot of these colleges aren't predominantly black anymore. That's the crazy part. You know what I'm saying? But that's for a whole totally different story. But anyway, yeah. So pretty much... I became a Donald Trump supporter off of a conversation that just sparked my brain. I asked a question, I got an answer, and then it just made me look back on things that I've seen and things that I've heard. And, you know, it just made me want to look into the presidency of Donald Trump. And I was very impressed with Donald Trump's presidency 
you know, for the last four years when I actually got a chance to look into it. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, that was a longer than expected video. If you like this content, like, share, subscribe, and please, please, please drop any comments. I would like to hear from you guys and let me know what you guys think, man. But other than that, y'all have a wonderful day.